Hi, this is Mike Serafini, the Vice President and General Manager of ChemCoders. Welcome to ChemCoders. We'd like to show you our state-of-the-art coil coating process in this short video. ChemCoders opened for business back in April of 2001, and our line design was a paradigm shift within the coil coating industry. While the traditional coil coating line has approximately 1,500 to 3,500 feet net, our line has less than 700 feet net. This compact, state-of-the-art, stop-start design allows us to be the most cost-effective and efficient coating line in the industry. Because of this design, we maintain the highest yields in the industry at 99.7% with a first-pass yield percentage of 99.45%. This design also allows us to run the largest cross-section in the industry at approximately 6.2 inches. Starting at the entry section, ChemCoders can load coils up to a maximum weight of 72,000 pounds and a maximum width of 72 inches wide. Like most coil coders, we use a mechanical stitch to connect our coils before heading off to our cleaning process. Every coil we stitch into the line has its cross section, which is the gauge by width, entered into the computer. This allows the line to automatically set the required line tensions as the stitch travels through the line. Our cleaning process consists of five stages. The length of our cleaning section gives us the necessary dwell time to clean your coils properly at the highest line speeds possible to help keep your cost down. The first stage is a 32 foot long alkaline cleaner where the cleaner solution is spray and pinch to split the oils and contaminants off the strip. The next stage of our process is our brushing section. ChemCoders does a lot of reclamation work for our customers. Our standard brushing setup is a four brush setup with two brushes working the top of the strip and two brushes working the bottom of the strip. For dirty, smutty, heavily oil stained and white rust issues, we use our standard setup which is one very aggressive brush and one medium grit brush on both the top and bottom of the strip. We can apply a coating after this cleaning process or just reapply protective oil with our electrostatic oiler at the end of our line per your specifications. For zinc coated products, chem coaters can polish this material to a non-class 1 finish using very fine polishing brushes. After polishing, the strip is cleaned of zinc fines in the next cleaning stage and a coating can be applied over the polished surface at our coater for the end user. We also have the ability to clean surface critical applications. For special setups, chem coaters can install our non-marking brushes. This cleaning process has been used for exposed automotive applications, class one appliance applications, and on pre-painted coils that have had their surface contaminated. The third stage of our cleaning process is another alkaline cleaner stage identical to stage number one as it relates to dwell time. The final two stages are the two hot water rinses, which are each approximately 12 feet long. The entire cleaning process uses the counterflow technique where water is counterflowed backwards from tank to tank when controlling the tank levels. Our ultimate goal is to work towards zero discharge of all process contact liquids. After running through a hot air knife to ensure the strip is dry for the coating applications, the strip travels through our initial inspection station right before the coater, where our inspector can visually watch the strip prior to entering the coater head. Next, we enter into our state-of-the-art GFG vertical coater. We have the ability to control coating weights by the use of load cells that precisely meter the amount of coating applied in conjunction with our roll speed adjustments. This vertical coating design has allowed chem coaters to apply coatings edge to edge on non-standard material that far exceed 50 I units in flatness without requiring the coils to be tension leveled prior to coating. After the coating is applied, the strip travels into our infrared oven. This oven is approximately 28 feet long in length and the heating elements are computer controlled to the cross-section data that was entered into the system for each coil when it was originally stitched into the line. Based upon the PMT that is required to cure that particular coating, the computer will manage the power requirements to ensure that the proper PMT is met no matter what line speed changes may occur. After curing in the oven, the strip travels over a series of chill rolls. 
we pump cold water into the core of these rolls and recycle the heated water by sending it back to a cooling tower. Chemcoders does not use any type of contact water after the strip has been coated. This ensures that we cannot create any water spot type defects and that every coil is wrapped up dry. This cooling process also supports our green philosophy in that we do not need to capture any contact water for waste treatment purposes to cool the strip after the coating has been applied. In fact, after the coating is applied at the coater head, the strip only touches 13 rolls prior to being recoiled at the exit. This line design is another reason why Chemcoders is able to deliver the highest yields in the industry. Chemcoders' second inspection station is located downstream from the coating head. This station is located on our second floor where an inspector is located using strobe lights to freeze frame the strip to locate possible defects. By controlling our line processes and educating our employees on customer requirements, we manage to run at less than a one-tenth of one percent claim percentage during our past calendar year. Moving toward the end of the line, CC has the ability to edge trim and split coils in line to eliminate the need to move your coils to a slitter. We can maintain a plus or minus 15,000 slit width with a total half inch trim requirement. When splitting, we will rack in our strand extensioner just like any other slitter would use to keep the cuts separated on the rewind and to knock down any burrs if they were to occur. When running reclamation and clean only type orders, Chemcoders does have the ability to electrostatically apply the appropriate amount of oil per your specifications. Our electrostatic oiler is located right before the recoiler at the end of the line. We can apply your specified amount of oil to both sides of the strip. Finally, the coil is rewound on the exit mandrel. We can produce finished coils on either a 20 or 24 inch ID and we batch these runs together to hold costs down. When the coil is taken off the line, it goes to the packaging area. We will package your material to your exact requirements using either plastic wrap or paper. Our standard package is using a plastic wrap process with edge and ID protections. This plastic has a VCI rust inhibitor extruded into the plastic to help protect the finished goods from moisture related issues during transit and storage. For customers who prefer us to use paper, this also has the VCI rust inhibitor in it for protection. Chemcoder stores your coils in a temperature controlled warehouse. The large majority of your coils are not stacked on top of each other, only particular products, mostly in the building and construction. We also have the ability to provide rail service for your shipping and receiving needs. We hope you enjoyed our tour and we look forward to meeting your needs today and in the future. Give us a call. You will not be disappointed.